So, between worldwide political unrest, several mass shootings, and of course the death of many famous celebrities, 2016 has been a year. A pretty rough year. So I figured the best way to wipe ourselves clean of the entire fiasco is to basically sort out exactly what went wrong. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to create a list of all of the things that went wrong in 2016 and sort them by how bad they were. So I created a Google form with all of my least favorite events from 2016. Feel free to take a look at it. The link is in the description and vote on your least favorite event. Now, here's the thing. I don't think 2016 is deserving of the best sorting algorithms, so let's instead use the worst sorting algorithms. And when we start thinking about bad sorting algorithms, the first one that comes to mind is bubble sort. The idea here is that we take an array filled with elements that we want sorted. We then sweep through the array and switch any adjacent elements that need to be switched. After doing this sweep again and again and again and again, eventually we have an array that is in the appropriate order. Booyah! Now, bubble sort is pretty bad, especially when we have a large number of elements to sort, but there are definitely worse sorting algorithms out there. For example, BOGO sort. This one's just silly. We take the array we want sorted and we shuffle it to create a new combination of elements known as a permutation. We then shuffle it again, and then again, and then again, and again, and again, and again, and again, until eventually we have found the correct permutation, a sorted array. It's the equivalent of taking a bunch of ping pong balls in a box, shaking up the box, and hoping that the ping pong balls magically stack themselves up in the process. It's not particularly likely, but I guess it's possible, right? Now, you might be thinking that there is absolutely no way we can do worse than just randomly shuffling an array until it's magically sorted on its own. But you would be wrong. See, I asked my best friend, how inefficient can a sort algorithm be? And oh boy, did they deliver. Introducing worst sort. The first thing we do is we list all of the permutations of the array that we want sorted. Now, we learned from BOGO sort that one of these combinations will be the sorted array that we want. The question is, which one? Well, I guess we should go through each permutation one by one, but in which order should we go through the permutations? And to answer that question, we should probably sort the list of permutations. But which sorting algorithm should we use? Well, how about worst sort? If we see our list of permutations as another array that we want sorted, then all we need to do is create a list of all the possible permutations of our new array and then go through each permutation one by one until we find the one that is the sorted array. The question is, in which order should we go through the new list of permutations? Well, to answer that question, we should probably sort the list. And how do you sort the list? You guessed it, worst sort. Basically, this cycle continues on and on and on until eventually we have to use a real sorting algorithm, like, let's say, bubble sort. So, yeah, sure, we'll have our sorted array. It just won't happen anytime soon. The way I see it, 2016 is more or less like bubble sort. Yeah, it's bad, but it could get a whole lot worse. Hey guys, I know that 2016 has been a bit of a rough year, but I'd like to take this time to thank you so much for all of your interactions with this channel. All of your likes, your comments, and subscriptions have really made this year one of the most fun years I have ever had. It's because of you guys that I spend literally all of my free time either studying or simulating something new, and I don't want it to stop in 2017. So, I guess, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.